I love a good sandwich and soup for lunch, especially in the winter time. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to make this delicious vegan tomato soup that hopefully will please everybody. Then I'm gonna show you four different lunch ideas depending on your diet. So if you're vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, I've got something for you. <laughs> the best part is, is that most of these lunches can use the same group of ingredients. So if you have people at home that have different diets, not a problem. You don't have to go out and buy a ton of new groceries. And as always, I'll show you my favorite gadgets for packing up lunch because sometimes that's half the battle. <laughs> so for our soup, we are gonna be working with cherry tomatoes. This time of year, they're really the best bet when it comes to finding a sweet tomato. You're gonna to be using 20 ounces. Then you're also gonna take a cup and a half of a white onion, add that to your sheet pan. And then I also like to use shallots. I think that it sort of adds a little bit more depth of flavor to the onion. So when you get to the store, sometimes you'll buy one shallot, but there's actually two bulbs in there. So you wanna use both. Go ahead and you can just quarter them. At this point, it doesn't need to be perfect because we are gonna be blending up the soup. And then you can add some salt and pepper. And then I also like to add two cloves of garlic. The garlic is going to become really sweet and delicious as it roasts in the oven. Peel it and then cut it in half and throw it on top of your tray. Then you're gonna drizzle the whole thing with some olive oil, about two tablespoons. Pop this in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Just until the tomatoes are blistered, those onions are translucent and everything looks really delicious. <laughs> then you're gonna transfer it to a blender. And at this point, you're gonna add some veggie stock. So I like to use two cups and anytime I'm blending anything that's hot, I like to put a little dish towel on top. That way, if it splatters, it's not going to burn you. Then you can transfer the soup to a stock pot. And at this point, I like to pump up the flavor of the tomatoes a little bit by adding three quarters cup of tomato puree and two tablespoons of tomato paste. Then you can stir that all up until it's combined. And then I like to add some Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon and a half, I think does the trick. If you don't have Italian seasoning on hand, you can use three quarters teaspoon of dried basil and three quarters teaspoon of dried oregano. And basically that's it. And if you're serving right away, you can just go ahead and serve it. Or if you're meal prepping for the rest of the week, which is what I do, go ahead and let it cool down. And if you're making it in a Dutch oven like this that has an enamel bottom, you can just pop the whole thing in the fridge. Okay, now for our sandwiches. Sandwich number one, a delicious chicken pesto sandwich, which pairs beautifully with the soup. So the first thing you wanna do is roast two chicken breasts. I like to use skin on bone in, just because you're gonna get a more succulent chicken. You'll roast that at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes, just until it's cooked through. Okay, now what I typically do is shred one of the chicken breasts off the bone with two forks and keep the other one in the fridge. That way it's just fresher throughout the week as you make your salad. I kind of make the salad in batches, but you could make the whole thing if you preferred. Okay, now here comes the really easy and delicious part. You're just gonna use some store-bought pesto. Add about two tablespoons to your chicken. You could use homemade pesto. I'll leave you a link in the description for my favorite recipe, but you can't beat the store-bought when you're trying to make things easy. And then I also like to add some sun-dried tomatoes that are in oil. I like to get the kind that are already sliced just because it makes the prep a lot easier. And then I also like to add some of these delicious buttery pine nuts. Then you can just mix that all up and basically your salad is ready to go for the week. How easy was that? Okay, now let's talk about bread. A good sandwich always comes down to the bread. I like to use these take and bake rolls because they're so great. You put them in the oven and they're halfway baked and then five to seven minutes later, you get this really delicious golden bun that tastes like it just came out of the oven. Then I do like to spread a little bit of mayonnaise on the inside of the bun just so that it's not dry. And then you can go ahead and pile that delicious chicken salad inside your little bun there and then add some fresh greens. I always buy the triple washed greens in the tub because it makes packing lunch every day so much easier. <laughs> there's no washing, there's no chopping. So these are these new lunch containers that I really like. They come with two different compartments so the bun fits right in and then it gives you a place for snacks. So this time of year, blood oranges are in season and you should look for them at your market because they are so delicious. They're sweet and tart and just I think so much more interesting than a regular orange. And in fact, I just read they have nine times the antioxidants than a regular orange. So good for your health as well. And then I also like to put a little bit of chocolate. Um, I think that there's a great combination between the citrus and chocolate. And sometimes after your lunch, let's be honest, you just want a little bit of something sweet. I do the dark chocolate just because it has a little bit more health benefits than something like milk chocolate. Then to pack up this lunch, I found this new lunch bag that I really love because it's really deep and it's tall. So it allows to put your sandwich in there as well as your thermos. So I use these ice packs and I put them on the bottom and then the lunch container will just fit on top of that. 
And then I just discovered these new thermoses that I really love. You get two to a box, two different sizes. Not only are they chic and just decorative, but the top functions like a cup. So you can put your soup in there, it's just a little easier to eat. And then inside the lid is a little utensil. So one is a spork and one is like a true spoon. And what's fun about it is it just completely unfolds, almost like those little camping equipment. So you're all ready to eat your soup. They fit right into the lunch bag on top of the little sandwich container and it just works out so well. So if you're gluten-free, not a problem. You can also make this lunch as a salad. So we're gonna take our fresh greens, we're gonna place it in the bottom of the container. So this is the salad version of the container. So again, they come two to a box, which is really great, so it gives you some flexibility. It also comes with a little dressing container. So I just like to put some olive oil in that, just so that your greens are a little bit dressed. And then you can put on the chicken salad on top. And then you're gonna have this really yummy little salad. You can use the oranges, just like we did with the other lunch. Pop in the olive oil and the chocolate, and you're good to go. Now for any vegetarians. So we're not gonna be using the chicken salad, but I am gonna go back to my take and bake rolls because they are so good. This one's an everything version, which is really delicious. I'm gonna add the pesto sauce to the bun instead of the chicken salad. Load up some fresh mozzarella cheese. I try not to get the one that's in water just so that it's not too soggy on your bread. Then you can use those sun-dried tomatoes right on top of the cheese, which is a really delicious flavor combination that's happening here now. Serve it with the oranges. And of course, don't forget the chocolate. <laughs> now, for any of my vegan friends, we're gonna make a bit of a departure and use some hummus. So this is just my homemade hummus recipe that you can find on my channel. I'll link to it below. And then I'm gonna place the hummus in the half of a whole wheat pita. The hummus just keeps better in a pita because it can keep it together. I'm afraid it might just smush out too much if you use the bun, but you certainly could try. <laughs> and then to that, we're gonna use some of these sun-dried tomatoes. So you can put those right on top. And then I also like to add a few cucumbers to the mix. And then you can top with the fresh greens. And you can pop that in the container. You can go back to the oranges. And because I don't know if the chocolate is vegan, I think what might be better is just to add some of these dried cranberries or dried cherries. I just pop it right into the little container well that we used for our dressing, but you could actually put them in the container and mix that with some unsweetened coconut and it's really delicious. All right, you guys, well, I hope you give these lunches a try and apologies, it's just my voice this week, but I promise I'll get my audio fixed and next time you'll get to see me. <laughs> All right, have a good week. See you then, bye.